On today's episode, would you rather be dead or alive? I know that sounds like a crazy question, but here's what's coming up next. Welcome to Let's Talk with Teresa Ann. I am your host, Teresa Ann, and I want to welcome you to Flipping the Script Monday. Now, the mission of Let's Talk with Teresa Ann is to simply yet profoundly allow the Word of God to give us new perspective, to allow us to see with his script, as my friend Selena would say, using the scripture as God's script, replacing the old script of all those past lies in our lives that now we see with perspective that is life giving versus life sucking. Well, with that said, this is an amazing episode because it will definitely flip the script in how we realize more and more the power of who lives within us. So would you rather be dead or alive? Now, I know this is crazy. It's a crazy question to even ask, but it's an obvious one when you begin to look at Ephesians 2. Once you were dead because of your disobedience and your many sins, you used to live in sin just like the rest of the world, obeying the devil, the commander of the powers in the unseen world. Whew. He is the spirit at work in the hearts of those, listen to this, who refuse to obey God. All of us used to live that way, following the passionate desires and inclinations of our sinful nature. By our very nature, we were subject to God's anger, just like everyone else. But God is so rich in mercy, and he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that we have been saved. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. So God can point us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness toward us as shown in all he has done for us who are united in Christ Jesus. God saved you by his grace when you believed. So when you believed is when God saved you by his grace. And you can't, I can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the things we have done. Thank God. So none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do something. So that we can do the things he planned for us long ago. So if we go to John 14, listen to what Jesus says. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you? that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. And you know the way to where I am going. And Thomas says, no, we don't know, Lord. We have no idea where you're going. So how can we know the way? And Jesus told him, 
I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you had really known me, you would know who my Father is. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus replied, have I been with you all this time, Philip? And yet you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking me to show him to you? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not my own, but my Father who lives in me does his work through me. Just believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or at least believe of the work you have seen me do. I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done, and even greater works. Because I am going to be with the Father. You can ask for anything in my name, and I will do it. So that the Son can bring glory to the Father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. If you love me, obey my commandments and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. If you continue on with John 14, it is a powerful, all the way, I mean, the whole book of John is incredible. But I want to park in Ephesians 2 and John 14 to answer the question, would you rather be dead or alive? So here is a one common theme with every single religion, every religion known to man, from Christianity to every other religion is that they all know that they must die to their flesh, that they must die to the flesh. You see so many other religions that are so devout 24 seven, literally eating, drinking and breathing their religion. I mean, it's so devout that it's beautiful. Yet, there's no hope in coming alive in anything except with those who believe in Jesus Christ. And here's why. Because the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is the same spirit that lives within us when we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Because remember this, Jesus came to reveal the Father. And when Jesus ascended into heaven, the Holy Spirit came to reveal the Son who revealed the Father. And we are here as representatives of God as the Holy Spirit lives within us. But here's what I want to remind you of, is that we are the only ones who not only die to the flesh, but we come alive in Christ Jesus. But I wanted to give that to you today. And I want you to know that if you are trying to look for this new way of living, if you're trying to look for the way, if you're trying to look for the truth, if you're trying to look for life, look to Jesus because he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. He, as my friend Jody says, Jesus gave us a heads up and he said, you will have trouble in this world, but take heart for I have overcome the world. And in these moments of our lives where it's difficult and it's hard, and man, we are so inundated with the distractions of this life, whether it be with a health 
issue or a life and death issue or a decision that you need to make right now and you don't know which way to go, call on the name of Jesus for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. There are no guarantees in this life, but the only guarantee in this life is this life in Christ Jesus. So now will you answer this question today? Would you rather be dead or alive? Remember, this show is all about bold inspiration, revealing God's goodness. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to both my YouTube and podcast channels.